Okay. <laughs> Just in case I somehow missed that. <laughs> so, that one was this one. Hopefully, we can get that one at some point. Wake. I'm awake. Wait. No, yeah. <laughs> So this should unlock. Yeah. I, I really like these sketches. Because it's very unnerving. Like, sometimes you just glance around and be like, ah, oh, no, it's fine. It's nothing. Or is it nothing? And we definitely got this one. I'm really tempted. Let me just pop in here quickly. Book save. Just then, you know, if something happens. <laughs> down here. Oh, I need to sneeze. This is bad. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> Alright, this is the scene. from the other side. Interesting. The plot element I found would drive the story forward. Locked from the other side. So maybe it's somewhere from I don't know. Or maybe would move the story forward. Got that one. Ah, oh, this one only has that one. Boo. <laughs> My writing was affecting reality. It would have been cool. It would have been cool. Um. I don't know. Like, part of me was wondering should I go back? But I, I, I feel like I have to just accept the fact that. The chances are I'm going to miss stuff. So, just knowing that, I should just get on with it. <laughs> Obviously, I would still attempt to get all the things I see, but I 
We... No. I don't think I've seen this with the torch bearers. In case. <laughs> oh, oh. Come on, there we go. The drifters had scrawled their symbol on the wall. A secret for those in the know. See, I see this, and I'm like, maybe now. I need to go this way. And waste ammo. Again. <laughs> I don't know, just random dodge. Oh, it irritates me so much. <laughs> Because I don't know if this is a case of it actually being a thing. And And it's just bugged, or if I'm missing something. Like, if it wasn't for the fact that we had that one that was right there, I think it would feel a lot better about the situation. See, I do like how you can never really tell, but I, I kind of hate how stop and starty it is. <laughs> I'll move on, I swear. This was cool, though. Get out of here.
I couldn't hear the dark presence. It was gone. Hmm. The tunnel was open now. I could get through. <laughs> so that one animation. Oh, good thing the darkness can't go through a pile of walls. Dark presence. I had seen it before. I remembered now. It was always out there. Hunting me. What's your head? <laughs> so... Interesting. This place... Reminds me of the oldest house. Which makes me realize we might not see Jesse or Paige or anyone else who was, you know, trapped within the oldest house. I had found the murder site. Somehow the victim's heart was the key. Oh, hey! Progress, but I'm in danger. The dark presence. Help me. Please help me. I could sense it. I was closer to home. Oh, hi. Had the woman in the vision helped me somehow? Something had changed outside Parliament Tower. Where I'd lived with Alice. It was out there. Waiting for me. End of part. Okay. Continue. Yeah, the the people in the the oldest house probably won't be within the game. The dark place wouldn't let me go that way. Simply because, like, well, for we 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 still don't know what's happening there. Do they ever get out? Like, does the hiss ever get contained? I mean, maybe we'll see them. I hope we do. But as it is right now, we don't know. Who was writing who? Who was writing this poem? Me? No. Maybe. The writer of the first word, not the writer of the last, with the terror of the light and the shadow cast. The third eye now opened the project to protect the night. This is the moment to write. This is the ritual to lead you on. Your friends will meet him when you're gone. Hmm. Stepping to the murder site, I'd 
felt it hanging in the air. A meaning. The violent emotion of the act. Like a cloud of wrath. The dead eyes of the victim staring at something you couldn't see. And yet, making you aware of it. Something that soaked into this place on a molecular level. Overlapping with your meaningless existence. Regression to something you had managed to forget. Marking you. Taking you for a ride. Making you crazier. This is normal. Really sucks, cause... <laughs> I just want this. I just want this! <laughs> okay, you know what? Actually... Okay. I have gotten a guide, a map, showing me where they all are. And I am just going to run through this area. If I'm allowed to. Changing a plot element in a scene without being there was impossible. Oh. Oh, that would really suck. Oh, actually, another way I could do this. Um, I could count how many I have and compare it to how many they've been. So according to this, there's 17. Four, seven, nine, ten. Yeah, they're missing one. Okay. Um, basically, I'm going to speed this up to see whether or not I can make it back. And if I can, then I shall continue to speed up until we find the word. And if not, I'll see you back at the entrance to the subway. Okay, I am back. And it seems like 16 is the, actually the, the amount you should have by now. Um, spoilers, there's a... Um, the station had changed. I was closer now. There was a word of uh, power or light or whatever it's called that you get in the streets later maybe even now but this is the right amount that we needed so that's something I'm going to take this because if we can we should oh, that's definitely home in the tower our home in New York was I really this close to being home? Going up to our apartment? Would I be home? Or was this just an echo of the real thing? Even then, the murder site had brought me one step closer to escape. Maybe now this door will be unlocked. <laughs> I couldn't get in. I was missing something. Wake. Hmm. Was this a save point? That I fully missed last time? 
Yeah, it was. Um, nothing really I want to put so sort out of this shoe box. Oh, hey, the phone at the edge of the plaza was ringing again. Hello. Hey, Alan. Thank God he picked up. I thought I lost you again. Who are you? Why are you helping me? Did you go deeper to the overlap? Are you talking about the murder site? Yeah, I, I did. I, I. That's fantastic, Alan. We're closer to getting out. We're making progress. Well, we would we... be if you would answer my damn questions. Last time we spoke, you were pretty worried about Alice. Did you ever check Parliament Tower? To make sure she really got out of the dark place? Well, of course she got out. That's why I'm here. That's the whole goddamn point. Be very careful, Alan. The dark presence is stealing from you. It can already manifest as your double. Scrap hook. Wait, wait, hello? This is just too... Yeah. Oh, there's a shoebox there. Maybe... If I'm desperate, I'll check there again at some point. Our place wouldn't let me go that way. I don't know why I didn't try the front door. Oh. Not entirely sure that's how you use slider doors, but it's okay. Wake his ex, she knew things. It was there in her art for all to see. A cry for help. The darkness she'd witnessed. And that put her in danger. Was Alice here? In the story? Hmm. That was a very fancy place. Oop. Doopy doopy doo. It's a quick elevator, so what? Oh. <laughs> Alice's photo equipment set to go off when the door opens. Hmm. Get out! Leave me alone! Alice! Alice! Spiral. Take photos for expedition posters. Is that? No, that is Alice. Uh, Alice. I thought it was Jesse then. This is a photo of Scratch. How, do you How know did it's Alice not get this? Photo of you. Is he stalking her? This is the door to my study. 
where I wrote my books. This symbol wasn't here before. No, but I recognize it. I don't recognize this apartment. I mean, things can change. Alice's video camera. No memory card inside. Are we gonna like a hop into the memory? That'd be kinda cool. Uh, video art doc on screens malt. Visual point of the dark place. Focal point of the dark place, even. <laughs> yeah. It is evilly quiet in here. Part one. Part one. What was Alice working on? Oh. Then I'm just thinking now, how trippy would it be if you end up going into um, switching characters now? <laughs> years ago, I started hearing noises in the night. Typewriter keys clacking. Voices. Alan was back. Haunting me. Then it got violent. was Alan. And yet, it was a monster. He always did have anger in him. I set up cameras around the apartment with motion sensors and flashes. Now, when the monster comes, I turn it into art. My nightmares caught on film. And this is the focus of my new exhibition. To show 
show people. The world is so much darker than they ever knew. I'm calling this exhibit the dark place. Alice. Scratch was terrorizing her. Why? Well, that was cool. Also, I noticed the light flickering as we were going on. I was just thinking, how creepy would it be if things changed in the apartment? Or, you know, things were moving in the apartment whilst we were watching that. Is that a giraffe? It is a giraffe. Okay. room and wrote a story initiation to project myself through the dark place to look for a way out the story had brought me here brought me nowhere loop me back I was writing this story and in the story I now stepped into the writer's room but there was no one here writing Explains seeing the forehead, like the light on the forehead, and well, that was a quick part. recap what you've told us so far, Ellen. For the past 13 years, you've been trapped in a nightmare dimension called the Dark Place. Yeah. It's like New York, but it's not New York. And can be reached from the bottom of Cauldron Lake, but it's not really under the lake. And after all this time, you've managed to get out. Yeah, yeah. But so has your evil doppelganger. Mr. Scratch? Or is it the Dark Presence? Both. It's interchangeable. He's Scratch when he looks like me, but he can change into this other form. And Scratch, the Dark Presence, wants to rewrite the world in his own image. Which would be in your image, as he looks just like you. And turn the world into a fucking nightmare. During Deerfest, which is scheduled to take place in a couple of days. You got out of the Dark Place by writing a novel, the pages we've been finding. But your double edited it into a horror story that's now changing reality, taking over people, yeah. making them crazy, bringing the dark place to Bright Falls. Yes, fiction coming in contact with the dark place can change reality. The story is coming true, soaking into everything, like, like, like darkness when it, when night falls. But last time, it... this will be back in 2010. Yes, last time it didn't happen all at once. The story came true bit by bit as it unfolded. And that dark presence was still bound to the lake. I stopped it before it got the ending it wanted. Before it broke free. Based on that, there's still time. Which brings us to your magical light switch. The clicker. Magical doesn't quite cover it. Scratch wants it to bring about his ending. That, that can't happen. If I can get the clicker, 
I, I can send him back to the dark place, make all this shit go away. Look, I know it's batshit crazy. My memory is, is full of holes, and I, I'm not sure how much I can trust. It, it's like it's like it's like a half-forgotten dream. <laughs> I love how in sync they are. Mr. Wake. Alan. We've seen our share of batshit crazy in the past 24 hours. What I want to know is, why am I? Why are we written into the story? I think I saw you. Or a vision of you in the dark place. I think you helped me reach out and escape somehow. With that in the story, Scratch would have edited it to get to you. To hurt you. We are all in danger. Hmm. It's insane. And there's so much of it. Have you ever heard of the cult of the tree? Creepy bunch. In the habit of wearing deer masks, performing murder rituals, victims turning into monsters possessed by darkness, possibly inspired by a horror story written by a certain author. Hmm? Ring any bells? The cult. Yes. Yes. They have the clicker. If the cult has the clicker, does that make them scratch his followers? How are you so certain they even have the clicker? They could be working for Scratch. I, I don't remember. It's all confused. Alan, if I'm going to act on this information, you need to be honest with me. Yeah, of course. Is he confused? Or is he hiding something? Oh, man. <laughs> Wake just gave us a lot of information. But this clicker seems like a good place to start. If we find that, then we find the cult. Whoa. The cult of the tree is in possession of the clicker. Oh, hang on. You saw out some lunchbox stuff. Uh, yeah. Boop. Yeah. What? Two more? Cool. <laughs> this story? The pages we've been finding are from a horror story called Return, written by Alan Wake. And the contents of this book are coming true. Why couldn't it have been a romance? <laughs> Uh, how does the story change reality rules at the dark place? Uh, <clears throat> oops. Let's get the clicker before scratch. Doesn't make sense. Oh. I didn't see that line. The clicker. Hmm. <laughs> There's a lot going on right now. I on wake. Sorting all this out. Uh... Hmm. 
Make in the form of Squash the Dark Presence. <sighs> oh, here we go. Sorry. <clears throat> Wake, Scratch, and the Dark Presence are interchangeable. Oh, the Dark, yeah. The Overlap. For later. That's not what I wanted. Um... <laughs> so much to go over. Wake has a double. Mr. Scratch. Where is he now? A cloud of wrath wears my face. The dark place in your place. Scratching out my body of work. Scratch is here. In Washington. He's hunting Wake. Wake said the cult has the clicker. How does he know? The writer is the reader. The next chapter, the next chapter, the next chapter. Keep the pages safe, the dark shining of the words. Wake is hiding pages. <laughs> That's how he knows the cult has the clicker. Scratch looks just like Wake. Why? Don't wake up the dreamer if your life is a dream. I swam to the shore, but the water is rising. Wake and Scratch are clearly connected. Maybe Scratch got out because Wake did. Or vice versa. Okay. Mr. Wake, I know you have more pages of the manuscript on you. You don't understand how vital these pages are. They're the only way I can know what's coming. You're not the only one trying to solve this. This is our job. Okay. Here. Now, this is all I have. Be careful with them. <laughs> Pick them up. Instantly accidentally drop them into the bin. Whoops! Inside the trailer, at the outskirts of Watery, Saga had seen Wake's fabled clicker for the first time in the hands of the cult of the tree. A cultist stared at her. She drew a weapon. Immediately want to read the full thing. Standing inside the trailer at the outskirts of Watery, Saga had seen Wake's fabled clicker for the first time in the hands of the cult of the tree. Her mind reeled from what the horror story was now claiming about her, her life, her past. She didn't accept it. She stepped out of the trailer. She needed air, but she wasn't alone. A cultist stared at her from behind a deer mask. She drew a weapon, shouted, Ran after him. Okay. Okay then. <laughs> I, I thought there was gonna be some. <laughs> uh. So it's some conversation there, but I guess not. The cult not. of the tree has the clicker Wake told me about. They're a part of all this. It's all on the page. The clicker, the cult. Okay, I'll head to Watery and find this trailer. Casey, you stay here and keep an eye on Mr. Wake. Got it. No, you need me there. No dice, pal. This is an FBI investigation, and I don't see a badge on that... Flannel. From now on, you can switch between Alan and uh, Saga's story via the bucket in the janitor's break room. Feel free to play it in whatever order you choose. Oh, I don't know. We, we, we just did a bunch with Alan, so I kind of want to see what's going on with... Oh, hell yeah. Oh. Uh. 
How much does it remove health? Wait. Eh? <laughs> well, I'm gonna try and play without. Some light inventory management. I think, yeah, I think I think I'll do some with uh, Saga. Oops. Switch reality. You wrote these pages in the dark place, so why are we finding them here? I think I wrote them up. I remember writing an endless amount of pages. But when this happened before, the, the pages were being sent from the dark place to help me. Maybe the same thing is happening here. That's all for now, Mr. Wake. Thank you for your cooperation. Hmm. Hmm. Nope. <laughs> Didn't mean to exit, but that's fine. Hi, welcome. Okay. Past favorite deer festival. Oh. Go. The yarn puppet monstrosity. The stuffed moose and squirrels one. No, thank you. Those beady dead marble eyes still give me nightmares. Thought it was like model after Lurch then. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Coffee World, voted Washington's best coffee themed amusement park. All of our attractions are family friendly and available to children of all ages. Just like our coffee. <laughs> so Take a sip of our Oh Dear Diner organic coffee and let the adventure begin! <sighs> Hold on for dear life on the Espresso Express! Oh! Soak in some local history at the Huatari Well, where two serial killers once hid the disemboweled bodies of their murder victims. Uh, it's not haunted. No. <laughs> Come join Mocha Moose and the goats at our amusement park petting zoo. Just don't share your coffee with the goats. <laughs> Seriously, stop feeding our goats coffee. <laughs> Seriously. It's not amusing. <laughs> Take in amazing views from the slow road through Ferris Wheel. I can almost see the Warrior Lighthouse trailer park. This is so much fun! And finish off at our beautiful gift shop where seniors and children under 10 receive a 9% discount on keychains and propane tanks! Welcome to Coffee World! We guarantee you'll jaw a great time! <laughs> this is the third time I've requested something be done about the TV in my room. It keeps going on by itself. It's keeping me awake all night. Yes, sir, I'm terribly sorry for that. Uh, we called a professional electrician. 
In the meantime, have you tried unplugging the TV for the night? Oh! Oh, there's an idea, Einstein. Why, why, why don't I just get rid of everything I'm paying for in that room while I'm at it? Sleep on the floor. Go to the toilet in the corner. Hey, I'm not unplugging it. You're fixing it. Of course, sir. Uh, I feel sorry for that guy. The... Um, Sure the, the receptionist. Davis family beef jerky will now be available at the Sunday market in three delicious flavors. That's right. Our favorite sponsor, Davis family beef jerky, can now be enjoyed in smoked hickory, teriyaki, and hickory teriyaki. I handed out samples here at the Valhalla nursing home and thought, I'd catch up with one of our residents to get her thoughts. Donna, how are you? I've got chronic back pain from my spinal stenosis. Oh dear. You know when I'm feeling stiff, I find a light snack helps. So, did you try that beef jerky? No. Lunch is at 11, and I wanted to save my appetite because today was the fish soup with crackers. You're allowed up to four crackers, but I only take one unless I have a glass of cranberry juice. They ran out of cranberry juice at breakfast, which is at 7. I didn't take the oatmeal today because it makes me gassy before cribbage, and I can't... So you didn't try the jerky. Got it. Well, that's too bad, Donna. Their new teriyaki flavor sure does hit the spot. They had teriyaki salmon with rice on Friday's dinner menu. Dinner's at 5, but we all know the salmon takes longer to prepare, and then you're late for bingo. And who needs all that spice? I agree. Teriyaki is a shit flavor. Who? Is that Tapio? How are you on the line? I couldn't end the call. You've been on the phone this entire time? Yes. And I hate teriyaki. Well, it's delicious on jerky. So, let's go. <laughs> Thank you to Wendy Davis for these samples. Wendy? No, that can't be right. Wendy went missing in 2010. I heard she's dead. No, I'm referring to Wendy Davis from our sponsor, Davis Family Beef Jerky. Wendy Davis. That's the dead one. She's dead. Right. Well, that's our time. Remember to keep your coffee warm and your chin up because that sun shines right around the corner. <laughs> Pat Main, signing off. He's doing his best, folks. <laughs> Um, do you okay? Uh, Tommy didn't come off that, uh, didn't want me to come. I can tell my trip is helping. I thought getting out of the city would inspire me, but Bite Falls is just a bunch of trees and empty storefronts. I need to find something. I'm tired of writing one-act plays about shitty, how shitty the world is. Um, I thought Skaten's social commentary would make me feel like a real artist, but I don't know. It's not me. I want to write something weird, something really out there, something authentic, but what? Fuck this town. I don't even want to get into what happened last night. It's weird, though. Sitting here in the hotel room, some pieces are starting to fall together. The idea of a new play, a space cult, burning down the galaxy in some misguided search for TBA, uh, t TBA, TBD, to be determined. A lone man, an artist, wandering the stars until his destiny puts him straight in the cult's path. A black cast, a musical, a rock opera, a rock opera would be cool. A rock, rock, <laughs> Ooh. Ed hadn't been the same since his latest show had closed. This wasn't the first time one of his productions had shuttered early. Scathing social commentary in a one-act play wasn't exactly filling seats. When Tammy told him she was taking a research trip to Bright Falls, he decided to tag along. Ed told her he wanted to find inspiration. 
Really, he just wanted a break from the city. But it was true that he certainly needed to find something. A voice, a direction, an idea, something authentic to himself. Ed knew he couldn't keep using Tammy's money to fund his playwriting. After the argument with Tammy, Ed stormed out of the diner and drove their rental car back to Cauldron Lake to prove a point. Now standing in the dark woods, the sun hidden by the trees, Ed wished he could remember what that point was. Something about masculinity. He cursed at himself and turned to go. Suddenly, he was blinded by a light in his face. Voices shouted and hands pushed him to the ground. Ed struggled in vain. Oh no, Ed! Oh, it's another manuscript. Damn it. Tammy tapped her pen on her notebook. Alan Wake had ridden this same ferry into town when he arrived. This was his entry into Bright Falls. His first steps across the threshold. She wrote that down. She always found it helpful to walk in the victim's shoes. Do what they did. See what they saw. It added great color to the book. Tammy felt raindrops on her face. God, again? She pulled up her hood. The rain just kept coming. She missed New York. So far, this hadn't been the simple research trip she pictured. First the incident at the lake, then the fight with Ed. It's not surprising tempers got hot. They were both on edge after what had happened. Tammy had said some things. Things she regretted. She looked out over the harbor. A chill passed through her. She hoped Ed wouldn't do anything stupid. Jeez. Just full on barge into the bathroom. Hello? It's not opening. Um. <clears throat> okay, nothing new there. Is that one of the weird thoughts I had whilst watching the last cutscenes? Um. I can't force it open. Uh, at one point, I, I did have the idea that it is uh, Sage and Casey the same person, but it it would be really hard to pull that off logistically. <laughs> um, admittedly, I don't think there's much we can can do right now. 